In 2011, an armoured dinosaur was found in Alberta, Canada. But little did we know at the time what a big discovery this dinosaur would end up becoming. Known at the time as the sun-coring chylosaur, it became quickly known that this dinosaur was going to be very significant to our understanding of these animals, as armour, in situ, skin, and also stomach contents was found inside this dinosaur. It was first thought to have been an example of a bloat and flow, where the animal would have fallen in the water or died in the water, and then would have floated due to gases building up inside. Eventually, that gas would have popped out, causing the animal to fall down to the seabed. It seems less likely now that this dinosaur was an example of a bloat and flow, and rather died probably due to a flood, eventually falling to the seabed. Because of the preservation, this dinosaur almost looks like it just died yesterday, with its armour and skin intact, and also stomach contents being found that shows that this animal is eating pine needles, ferns and cycads. Eventually, this dinosaur ended up being called Boreolopelta, the armoured dinosaur from Canada that became well known around the world. I was lucky enough to visit Boreolopelta in the Royal Tyrrell Museum in Alberta and it was absolutely incredible. I remember spending a good hour just circling around the display case, taking in all the detail that you wouldn't usually get from other dinosaur specimens. It was just phenomenal. Because the preservation of Boreal Apelta is so good, we actually have a good idea of what colour this dinosaur was. Its top half or armour plating would have been a reddish brown colour, while its underbelly would have been more of a pale-like colour instead. Boreal Apelta has been dubbed the Dinosaur Mummy, and if you ever get the chance to see it in person, you will understand why. The quality and preservation of this dinosaur is phenomenal and unlike any that has been found before.